Eight and a half hours later, I am up here in Mooresville, North Carolina. I did get a hotel last night. So first thing early this morning, it's about 6.35 right now. I'm gonna go over, get me some breakfast. Chick-fil-A is right across the street. Go ahead and get that, get the day started. Cause we are heading over to Modern Racing. We are one, picking up the car, picking up prenup to take it back home. But two, we are going to get to fire it up. That's right, you will be able to listen to it in this video. First time firing up the brand new Noonan package down inside the frame rails of prenup as you can see we got the tow pig behind us she did amazing on her first drive up here uh what about the fuel tank we got 48 gallons underneath the bed and we got 96 gallons inside the bed so we didn't even have to stop to get any kind of fuel on the way up here i love that the whole deal so um i think mpk starting up this year being able to carry the merch trailer we're going to be able to go to a lot of miles with this setup but it came out badass i love it we're about to go over get some chick-fil-a and then we're headed over to modern shop so we can go ahead and uh start looking over prenup see what they got going on check out all the updates and get it fired up so we can head back to florida so now that we got our chick-fil-a you know we're gonna start breakfast off like a champion. Man, that thing has read 541 miles for a while now. Um, I don't know if y'all can like hear me in my voice, but, or see how excited I am about the new tow pig and uh, carrying, you know, the trailers around at the house, also carrying the merch trailer around this year. Um, I did buy a new 34 foot bumper pool because there is gonna be some street racing going on this year and we needed to get a smaller setup to be able to uh, to go out there and run that. We can't, you know, we can't bring the semi rig out there on the street. Um, so I did buy a 34 foot um, trailer and uh, we're gonna be able to carry it behind the tow pig. But now we're gonna head over to Modern Racing. We are going to get a first look at the car. I haven't got to see it since I dropped it off. Um, we are leaving from here at the end of the day and head into the wrap and body shop. It'll get all the body work done, get the wrap done on it, and then we will be able to test. I'm hoping to test within the next two and a half weeks because, you know, we are one month away from the first race of Street Outlaws, no prep kings. But man, check out that rig right there. It's kind of like similar. So we got, I think we need to put a wrap on my rig. Holy crap. We might have we might have to wrap my setup. Look at this deal here. at the car in a while um, I did miss her miss her very dearly I am excited to get this thing fired up today get it back home you know get the wrap on it so we can start testing we are we're running out of time but we have enough time um, I plan on testing for multiple days straight just figuring out combos and converters and rear gear setups and figuring out what the best way to be able to attack uh, season six of No Prep Kings. As you can see inside here, Justin here and the guys at Modern, they cleaned up all the wiring. We had a lot of extra wiring over the last two seasons. Whenever we wrecked the car, we added a Liberty transmission. We changed from a Pro Charger to a screw blower. So there was some weight added on right there. Well, Justin and them got everything all cleaned up. It all looks good now. 
we got two brand new batteries inside the car i change the batteries out once a year you don't have to i've had braille batteries that have lasted five or six years but it's just a deal that i do i change them out once a year and then i go ahead and just sell the other two off at a used price we also have our modern racing full-on box back inside the car everything seems to be working doing good they've already tested everything out we are getting the converter bolts and everything put in the car we're going to go ahead and put the push rods in because this motor does not have no push rods because we haven't ran it ever and it was sitting over at cameron's also sitting here they didn't want to have a bunch of tension on the spring so it has no push rods in it and uh we're going to go ahead and put that in there once we put our oil in it shout out the bp they got us back on board this year all set up for oil and lubricants for our application so we'll get oil put up inside it we'll get transmission fluid put down in the mark mickey transmission we are going with a turbo 400 three speed this year that is the setup i feel like it's going to be the best for us the way the rule package is written i think it's going to be the best thing so we are going to start out with the turbo 400 and figuring out what's going to be the fastest what converter behind it what rear gear and what we can do up front but cameron and the guys got it all knocked out justin and them are knocking it out and we are finalizing some things up to be able to get it fired up we also built new headers Y'all know whenever we were uh, running last year, uh, there was a couple times that we had headers break and uh, we had to continue to keep fixing them. They had two years of racing on them. They've been in multiple wrecks and they got over 300 passes. That's right, guys. I got over 300 passes on this car in two years. That's a lot of hits. That's a lot of stress. So I told Cameron, I said, go ahead and build me a new set of headers to get ready because you know side piece is not going to be ready for the first race we are supposed to be getting it in the middle of the year um but i'm gonna plan on starting out with this thing testing this thing and if it's running good prenup's running good i probably will not change um and, and switch cars so i hate it i'd rather have a side piece uh going into the season but that's the reason why i spent the money to be able to upgrade this thing we lowered the motor we pushed the motor back we switched everything around we put new doors new front end on it we uh lightened up the wiring just to be able to get down to race weight and be able to give us our best shot um moving forward shout out to Boar racing products as you've seen we got a new blower hat on the car the old hat is back here and i'll explain a little bit of different about it it's kind of a similar thing but you've seen how big it is back here i had issues seeing inside the car so i went ahead and that blower hat back there came all the way back here so now we got a front runner hat i'm hoping i'm able to see a little bit better around the tree um most guys get to run off of a, a a full tree or a 400 tree they get to look at the amber lights well in mpk we got to look at the green lights it's that much lower so you do have to try to be able to see going around that um moving forward but yeah everything is very nice very well put together the guys have gotten it all situated we are about one hour out before we are firing this thing up like i said earlier this motor doesn't have no push rods or anything in it this is to be my first time uh looking into this deal same thing with y'all as y'all can see it is beautiful we all know how beautiful it looks on the outside all the billet machined areas everything cut out but the inside looks beautiful too um it's got a one-piece rocker stand set up where basically uh these things you know isolate float back and forth to be able to uh you know push the push rod in or possibly change something out which makes it a lot easier and then i guess these deals right here rocker arm stops that's something that will be put on there so it doesn't allow the rocker arm to be able to go back and forth but we're going to go ahead and slap these uh uh push rods and everything down in here get it all adjusted get it ready to go so we can get the belt and everything 100 percent done on the front gotta get the blower bolted down and then we'll be able to fire this thing up i already got all the push rods everything in i do need to go through and still adjust them um but i wanted to show y'all something real quick something that the proline motor didn't have and it's just a different little different setup but basically the proline motor was individual rockers this thing here has a one piece rocker stand so everything's tight right now so you can't move this but you see how there's nothing nothing right there and they have like i'm calling it you know a locker whatever they want to call it i'm sure there's a right terminology for it but basically we're putting these on right now so that the rocker arm does not slide back and forth and put something in a bind or possibly fall off and break pretty cool design i ain't gonna lie everything seems nice first time in the motor it's pretty it's going pretty smooth um we got the front everything 
nice and uh, worked out up there. Once I get these things on, I'm gonna go ahead, turn it over and adjust all the, uh, all the valves and all the rocker arms and just make sure everything's good before I put oil on this, prime it up, and then we will be firing it up here in a little bit. But. We got the motor basically all done still got to put oil in it but that'll be a last deal um they are finalizing cutting down the spark plug wires make sure everything's got a nice fit to it as you can see we got our straights on there everything is good um they are going through they're cutting the front end out right now to be able to fit the car and once that is done we will then put some oil get everything down inside there and we will get this thing fired up i told y'all i promised you you would get to see the car fire up in this video so we are going to fire it up here in a little bit but man i'm so happy to get ready to go home get back to florida get the car done get it tested and i, I hope we we just got everything I, I spent a lot of money i spent a lot of time and i've done it though everything the right way and i'm hoping that it uh performs that way and i'm hoping it it does well and we could chase that championship this year that's that's the ultimate goal my other setup hold four gallons. This deal here, they told me it'll hold about three to three and a half. Yeah. Guys, we're putting oil in it right now. Shout out to BP. They came back on board with us this year. Got us all set up with our oil and everything to be able to uh, get this bad boy here fired up. Can't wait to see what it sounds like or hear what it sounds like. I don't know if you can really see the sound, but. You kind of can. Did you already put fuel in it? down this road. No, all about it. Fucking fire. Fuel tech. Um, or we uh, just go camping. 
want to put more fuel on? Is that just because it run out of fuel? Because the barrel valve's not open? Clean. Okay. Alright. Alright. We're going to fix this. <laughs> I'm fucking... I'm ready to fucking set this bitch on fire. <laughs> I got good insurance. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that freaking they got that wheel on there. Ready? Why is this bumping? <laughs> You wanted that. I don't know, 13 or so, 15, 13. I've never run these. I've never ran them either. Everybody tells me how good they are. <laughs> They're good, they flow. Yeah, they flow all your transmission fluid out. Uh, Moss, do you have a. What's the, what size that Allen? Be, it'd be better just to drop the pan. It's all really the pan. Yeah, to get it out. Is this Alan's uses? Yeah. So, play with design. Alright. So, are we still going to have to tear the front of the motor apart? Yeah. Make it right, you are. Why? Where did you put a band on I just figured out where it was, where the camp sink was, where it was. So, it was out of time. It's out of time. It's what you said. But yeah, what, I what it is, right, but I'm, I get one every day. <laughs> I, I just, I guess for me, I freaking assume. I knew it because at Bradenton, well, so at Bradenton, I fucking, I, when we couldn't get it fired up, and when you said 672, it fucking went boom, yeah. and I see it start shooting a little purple flame. It's just way out of timing. Yeah, it is. It's and I'm the one that did the proline motor because I accidentally pulled uh, the pulley off. Yeah. Well, I didn't know uh, that I had uh, the wheel behind it, so I pulled the whole wheel assembly off. And just threw it back on. When I threw it on, I threw it on by one. I missed it by one tooth or whatever. All right guys, uh, we got it loaded up. As you can see, prenup is heading off to get body work and to get the wrap put on it. Um, and then once we get done with all that, we will then bring it out and start testing. There is some small things that we had to do. We had some issues, you know, first firing the motor up, but uh, we got everything figured out and we think we got everything right now. Um, and I can't wait to, you know, just get out and test it. Keep playing around with it. It's a little bit different than the pro line piece. Um, it's got a lot of similarities, but there is some stuff that is different. So uh, we're just going to have to work with it and keep pushing forward. I now have a eight and a half hour hike uh, if I was to go to the house. But since I'm going to Fort Lauderdale, it adds an extra couple hours. So I'm going to say 10 to 12 hour ride. 
Um, it's eight o'clock right now. So looks like I will be home 8 a.m. tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna try to drive through the whole night because I am running out of time. I was supposed to have this car delivered a day ago and be able to start getting body work done and getting wrapped, but we just ran into some issues. We finally got everything fixed, got everything looking good. Front end fits good, everything's good, back good on the car. Um, see the front of the chassis all painted, wires all good, brand new motors in the car. Uh, even though we got 300 passes on the old girl, she looks a little beat up, but she's been through hell. But uh, once we get the body work done and get the wrap put on it, I guarantee this is basically going to be like a new car to me again. Um, and me and her has been through a lot and I, I, I enjoy driving her. So uh, I'm ready for it. Side piece. I'm not 100% sure what the progress is on that. I'm going to go see Cameron at the end of the week, figure out, you know, what's the game plan for that deal. Uh, we also got some other stuff that we are in store, you know, moving forward for the season six of Street Outlaw No Prep Kings. But if you haven't done already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm a little out of breath. I've lost a lot of weight, but I'm still fat. I need to get about another 25 pounds off before the first race of the season. So uh, right now we're looking at about a pound a day before the first race. So uh, that's going to be very tough, but we'll see what we got going on. But if you haven't done already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn that bell notification on. Let's keep growing this thing. Uh, I wouldn't be able to do this without y'all. We're on the way to 100,000 subscribers, guys. I'll see y'all at the next video.